minister has accused the people of criticising the report in bad faith. Is she really saying that Professor Michael Marmot, a world-renowned expert in public health, is acting out of bad faith? Is she really saying that the British Medical Association and other professional associations are speaking out of bad faith? It would reflect better on the minister if she was prepared to engage with genuine criticism by experts. Nobody denies there has been progress on racial justice in this country. My parents left school in rural Jamaica aged 14. I am a British Member of Parliament. But this is widely seen particularly by people who have been quoted and misquoted as a shoddy, cynical report, to quote the UN Working Group, which packages racist tropes and stereotypes into facts and twists data. And I would ask the minister, surely black and brown British people who've contributed so much to this country deserve better than this report. Yeah. Mr Deputy Speaker, what black and brown British people like myself deserve is better treatment from the members of the opposition who are continuing to stoke division. Of course, I am not accusing Professor Sir Michael Marmot of bad faith. Of course, I'm not accusing the BMA of bad faith. I'm accusing her and her colleagues who are posting pictures of the KKK and advertised as the Shadow Equalities Minister was at an event preparing to denounce the report a week before it was even published. It is them that I accuse of acting in bad faith, Mr Deputy Speaker. And what I would say on Professor Sir Michael Marmot and the British Medical Association is that I have had meetings with them, we engage with them, we take criticism from them. They are not there to endorse every single thing the government says. They are there to provide uh, uh, helpful criticism when necessary and suggestions. Sometimes we agree, sometimes we disagree. Disagreement is not a problem. What we disagree, what we, what we do not want to see is misrepresentation, which is what her and her colleagues continue to do.